Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ari and I'm back with another video. If you're new, welcome. Hit that subscribe button, get this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you can see all my videos. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. further ado we're just gonna get straight into this video of course as you can tell by the title we're talking about the Tory Miller Tory Miller who am I the Tory Burch Miller sandals and as you all know oh most of you might know because you clicked on this video that means you're interested in buying the shoe but if you don't know it's really a luxury sandal it costs about $200 to purchase and it's pretty much a classic like even if you're out on a night on the town like in the winter type and you just need a pair of shoes to change into this is the shoe that you want like your Tory Burch sandals are just gonna go perfect with anything any situation throw them on luxury moment okay so I'm gonna start with unboxing them um I'm not gonna lie I have worn them who would buy a nice shoe and not wear it so I did wear them when I went to go visit my cousin and we went out to dinner um I'm going to unbox the, the shoes with you guys, though, so you will get an idea of how the shoes will come. Um, this will be if you order online, but I did go into the Tory Burch store to buy my shoes. But of course, they didn't have a size because it's summer and it's a hot commodity right now. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to get the shoe and show you. Okay, so Lord, don't drop it. So this is what it comes like. Um, let me get out the way. It'll come in the mail just like this. Is that my information? Oh no, that's a little sticker. Um, it comes in the mail just like this. I opened the box, of course, because I told you I wore them. So you'll get them in this box. And then on top of it, oh, you guys probably can't really see that. But when I take it out, um, actually it's on a sticker and it might rip the paper. I really don't want that. But you get a card that comes with it, taped to it. Super cute. It says, thank you. We hope you found exactly what you were looking for and that you love it. Tori Birch. And it has the little... Um, it's like stationary paper with her logo on it. So once you read the card, you open the papers and then you'll have your packing information. Okay, so I purchased the Perfect Black Patent um, Miller Sandals and that was, that just, I just got one thing. So pretty short, to the point. And to the point of the video, that didn't go well. This is what the box looks like. So, of course it has the Tory Burch logo and I'm assuming which pair of Miller sandals you get decides which color box you get. Cause you know, there's it. well, if you do know, there's the, I wanna call them mini, but they're like a jelly slide with a smaller emblem on it. Um, logo, emblem, same difference. So I'm taking the box off and inside the box, you'll get a duster for your shoes. I guess if you're on the go and you need to throw them somewhere or you don't want to use all the wrapping paper anymore, you just throw them in your bag and then you open your stuff. Oh my gosh. Let's just focus on this. So I'll open them and they just come so perfectly packed, packaged. Okay, so once you get through all the packaging, you finally get to your shoes, you take the paper out and this is what they look like. So I'll just do one right now. But just for that, I just wanted to show you both. Um, this is the patent leather one, of course. So it's patent all the way around, even everything, except this right here. These are metal and they don't have the emblem on it. But of course, this is where the emblem is. Um, like I said, I did wear this shoe once, but there's no wear. Literally wore it really all day. Like, it's crazy. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the pros of the shoe. And if you're looking to buy, of course, these are probably things that you notice too. But of course, it's a beautiful, beautiful shoe. It's perfect. It's comfortable. It has um, grip on the bottom so that you're not slipping and sliding anywhere. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a classic. It's like it's not anything that you're going to wear and just be like, oh, I don't want to wear these anymore. Or spend all this money on and be like, oh, I can only get one wear out of it. It's just, it's a classic. It's a statement piece as well. Another pro that I want to say is that um, this shoe, so a person with a wide foot, I have like a medium foot, like it's not narrow, but it's not fat. It's just pretty normal, you know. But some shoes I would buy and I'm like, oh, I have to like size up because I don't think that's going to fit right. 
So because of this, like someone with a wide foot might be scared and be like, oh man, I don't know. But I will say that this actually doesn't get in the way. I don't know how, but I will say that they don't get in the way. They don't make you, you know, have that tight thing and your foot is bulging out. Like that's not a thing with this shoe, which I love so much because I told you there's so many shoes. I'm just like, oh, got to size up. But speaking of sizing, nope, I'll tell you that in the comments part because that'll help you purchase your shoe. So overall, the cons of this shoe is just that it's beautiful. It's basically a for everybody shoe. It's a classic and it's something that you can match with anything and everything, especially if you get other colors. It's just, it'll be this shoe in different things. I mean, different things. This shoe in different colors. Okay, now I do have a few cons about this shoe that aren't really major because obviously I bought the shoe. It's like, oh, like whatever type. But there are some things, of course, if someone's looking and this is supposed to be an informational video, I might as well share it. So to start, um, one thing I don't like is that, like I said, when a shoe is supposed to be, it's supposed to be a shoe, especially this is a $200 shoe. Kind of want to buy my size in it, but hey, I wear an eight, eight and a half. That's my shoe size and pretty much all my shoes. But I told you certain shoes you have to size up. So this here is a nine. And I will say that on the website, it does tell you, you need to size up. And I know that I told you I got these in the store, but I've been eyeing these shoes. So I knew when you bought them, you had to size up, um, whether that's a size, a full size or half size. And I'll just say that mine was a half size only because me and my cousin that I told you, um, I went to dinner with, she wears the same exact size as me. So she put this on, it was a perfect fit. Like our feet are like, right here it's like like no flipping no flopping <laughs> my Tory flip flops sign off <laughs> but um what why would I do that so that is one thing I do not like like I'm spending all this money just make the size incorrectly but hey that's probably some type of normal manufacturing thing and I should just shut up that I did not like um also one thing I do hate about the shoe is that it's such a classic, it's such a staple, it's such a common shoe that a lot of women are, okay, it's summertime, like, let me go either re-up on my Tory Burch's or like me, I'm in a space where I can go ahead and purchase my Tory Burch, um, some Miller sandals, let me get them now. You go in the store, it's a size five on the, how many people wear a size five? And if you do, put that in the comments below, but it's a size five sitting up there in a patent leather color. Had to wait. I go in the store to get my shoe. Had to wait a few days, like two or three days to get them in the mail. Plus I order them on a Friday. So not counting the non-business days. So technically five days, but with business days, about two to three days they came. So I hated that part. Um, my point was that it's such a, it's such a hot commodity that when you want to go get your shoe, you can't really put your hands on the shoe if you have to order online. Don't like that. Um, also, I think this is something for someone who cannot decide between the Miller patent leather and the actual leather shoe. Because if you know, um, they do make the two options and you can decide which your, uh, which your fabric of the shoe will be that you want. So I chose the patent leather because I had a pair of Fashion Nova shoes. They were patent leather and my freaking dog broke them. Oh no, my dog didn't break on my trip. Yeah, so yeah, doesn't matter. But I had those and the shoe broke and I couldn't get my hands on another pair of them. So I was like, I know that I love patent leather on my feet and I know how it looks, I know how it feels, I know what to expect. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. But for somebody who doesn't like patent leather on their feet, isn't sure about that particular fabric on their foot and also does just isn't into the shine, I would go with the leather because this shoe is very, for one, it's a huge statement. Like you see, you're walking, it's shining. You're walking, it's shining. Aside from that, it also is patent leather. So here, if your foot is not accustomed to being in that material, you're going to be in some pain trying to break these in. And that's kind of annoying because it's a $200 shoe. You want to get your wear, especially this is one of my first luxury items. So, and I would consider this luxury because like I said, yeah, it's expensive. Um, this is one of my first luxury items. So I can see myself just throwing these on and get, wanting to get my wear out of it because I, you know, saved, I paid my money for it. I want to enjoy it, but this is not a shoe that you could just throw on and 
run to the grocery store if you're like trying to get a lot of groceries because you'll be tiptoeing back to the car until you break these in. So that's one thing I also didn't like about them. My final thing that I would say that I don't, not that I hate it or I was just a little confused and I also saw that um, a young lady that posted her video on reviewing her Tory Burch slides, uh, sandals, it kind of happened to me too, but not really. So she bought her shoes and both of, cause this was her second pair. So one pair fit great. The next pair that she bought were kind of flip floppy. Like I was telling you, you buy it and the shoe just is like that, like that. It's just not giving that. We want a great fit on a great shoe. So I will say that this shoe, let me see. So I could turn it around to y'all. Okay, so this one I put on first and this is my right foot. I put this shoe on and I was like, oh wow, like this is so comfortable out the rip. Like, wow. Like it just has just a loose feeling to it that's like perfect for a new shoe. Like you don't feel like, oh my gosh, like now I have to, you know, put the foot to my, the way I walk or like the size of my foot or the width of it, like stuff like that. I put the shoe on, I was like, whoa came downstairs to show my mom the shoe and like how much I liked it. So I decided to put them both on and this one is like way, not way tighter, but it's significantly tighter around the sole or the, I'll just continue with the width because I'm not a doctor. The width of the foot, significantly tighter. So I'm walking kind of two different ways in them and watching her video, I just was like, oh wow, me too, I hate that. Because you, like I said, like you, you want your item to be perfect, so. But that's not something that I'm just like, I would never buy another pair before. Um, I kind of just know now to expect well, something to be off maybe, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm really trying to say here. But all in all, it's a great shoe. So to give you guys a fair run of what I'm basically saying, if you couldn't catch any of that, the shoe is amazing. It's worth the price. It'll always be something that you go to. Um, it goes with everything. Um, yeah, and the cons kind of are minuscule compared to the pros because it's something that, of course, when you buy something of that price range, I know me, like I'm gonna look at it way too many times before I'm sure that I'm gonna buy that. And I sh I'm sure that that's something I can get my money's worth out of and I'll appreciate what I did for myself there. I'm saying that that's a shoe that you will find that you've got your money's worth. So to finish up, um, if you guys want to know, the shoe retails for $198 um, US if you're uh, watching somewhere else. Um, $198 and the tag, oh, I just realized. That's off the dome because it's not even on this paper. But the shoe is $198 and the um, the tag sent it up to like 209 something. So I'm not pretty. Sh I'm not really sure what the exact one is, but I know I spent two hundred nine dollars and some change, um, which is not bad because it was already one ninety eight. So hey, well, at least it wasn't like two forty. And also, I ordered in store because I told you guys they didn't have my size, so they did the free two day shipping. So that kind of took away the shipping cost if there is any um, on the website. That's one thing I'm not too sure about. But all in all. Go for the shoe. If you're really interested in it, go for the shoe. If you're looking for comfortability more than, um, not pizzazz, but like an eye catcher, go with the leather. If you're looking for something you want people to see, like, oh my gosh, like she got her Tories on, definitely go with the patent leather. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, um, go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if you guys already have your Tories and Tell me like if you guys had any of the same issues as me or how much you love your shoe because I know that I'm getting a second pair and I'm really thinking about that. Um, it's like the tan color, but I forgot the direct name for it. Um, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Um, I'm back on YouTube for sure, for good. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. Thanks.